The purge order will commence in 22 hours. Attention all personnel. Evacuate immediately. Evacuate immediately. Still running all over the place. What the heck? Even at this hour? Ah, ah, ah. Come on, get in the car. The Legion will ensure your safe passage out of here. I'm all this place requires. What? You cheeky brat. Who do you think you are? I'm not a young whippersnapper. How dare you talk to me like that? Hey, where do you think you're going? Mania's all over the place! Where on earth are you headed? Hey, are you out of your mind? Tell me what you need, and I'll take care of it for you! Stay put! Hey! Since then, I've thought a lot. I've read your poems, your teaching materials, and seen how much you praise Syndicate. But still, I just can't convince myself to fully believe in all of it. I've always lived in the shadows. Never seen the kind of light you talk about. I know even you don't believe some of the things you say. I don't think I got it wrong. Syndicate has just chosen to go down a path that's beyond saving. But now, I really regret it. You're inciting a bunch of delusional fools to die! Quit acting. If I had known your real motive, I never would have believed those lies. When this war is over, take the children back to class. After my mission ends, I won't need to travel anymore. I'll rebuild Syndicate Academy and teach you well. Believe it or not, I didn't create this school to trick you into fighting. I want you to live and grow up in peace. I want more people to see my adorable student. I regret not taking action sooner. Not talking to you earlier. Not bringing more people together. Even if we ended up hurt and bleeding. If only I had done more! <sighs> Even if things turned out the same, I wouldn't be this full of regret. It's not the things I used to hate that I despise. It's myself. For doing nothing at all. Let what's in the past rot. Syndicate is in such a dark place now, and I had no hope for anyone in the past to improve it. I'm still not counting on anyone. <laughs> you told a lot of lies, 
but at least one thing you said was true. Whether I like it or not, the future's going to hit me hard. So I am going to take action and make it listen to me. from here on. You guys go ahead. I'll stay. But, Horo... Call me Commander. The Legion Commander never flees from combat. are much stronger after Chief woke up. The Black Ring has already encroached upon the outskirts of Drifter Camp. We need to get out of here. Before that, I'll drive you back to MBCC. Your health is improving, and there's no need to worry about anything else. Chief has returned too. Everything is going to be okay. I'll ensure you get back. these enemies. Just hold on a little longer. I won't let you be in danger again. Am I holding you back? I'm sorry. Don't apologize. No need to apologize to me. Just think of me as the one seeking redemption. I'm the one who's guilty. In March, after Chief returned to Drifter Camp, I, a logistics officer, also picked up a weapon and took to the streets, joining the riot. Matilda says that at that time, the shackles within me had already been corrupted by Corpus. It's the mania that twisted me. But deep down, I know it's not the answer. I've always considered revenge as my only course, because those monsters took my daughter away and I couldn't even have her remains. There hasn't been a single day in all these years that I can forget. Or a night without nightmares. I keep reminding myself, Sophie sacrificed herself for her ideals. Her name is etched on the monument, making her a true hero. She must have been immensely proud of herself, and so am I. <laughs> proud of my heroic daughter. That's what I've always believed. Until the moment I witnessed Chief being brought back to Drifter Camp. The 
leader of the Rustfire. A hero. <laughs> Appearance. Where is the hero in that? His slender frame is full of scars. His clothes stained dark with blood. Fingernails split and broken. What pride. What vanity. I can't see these emotions on his face. He is in torment, resisting, not ready to let go of his life. My daughter had no wish to die when she was murdered. They've endured such agony, perishing in the bleakest spots at the prime of their lives. Since then, Whenever I armed myself, I lost control. I had no clue what I had done, no memory of it at all. I had let myself be completely consumed by hatred. I only snapped out of it when I saw one of my companions going after a kid and saw it was you. What have we become? Doing this to a kid even younger than Sophie. How oh, did I end up like this? Why did things go so far? The same suffering Sophie went through, I made you endure. I'm no better than the devils of Nirvana. I am beyond redemption. I don't deserve your forgiveness. I see now. All of Athena's actions. We're all for her daughter. It all makes sense now. You really had those rust fire troublemakers eating out of your hand. Always on the ball and super efficient. You take care of everyone so thoughtfully, plus, your pancakes taste like the best thing in the world. I can still recall. Just before I blacked out, Chief was gone. And there was Hikate, out on the streets, trying to be a hero. There were loads of crazies on the other side. I thought, if I went down fighting for my friends, that would be the bravest thing. Friends have always meant everything to me. But at that moment, you showed up. As I was nearly at my limit, you fought your way through the crowd, yelling and shoving them aside. When shoving wasn't enough, you dove over me to shield me. You yelled so hard you lost your voice. In an instant, my courage just evaporated. I was so scared, I couldn't let go. I dared not to even peek outside. All I wanted to hold on to you tightly. It's such a strange feeling. I, the Rat Queen of the Syndicate, have always been the one stepping up, looking out for others. Never once did I rely on someone else to protect me. When did I turn so cowardly, so worthless, lying down for so long? It doesn't make any sense. And now I get it. The one who stepped in to save me back then was a mother. I had no mom and dad. Before I made any friends, it was just me making my way through Syndicate. I never really understood what others meant when they talked about a mother. In your embrace, my mind was filled with... But my actual mom left me behind ages ago. You aren't my mom.
No, you mustn't go. Stay here. Wait for me. You aren't as strong as I am. Aren't used to being a sinner. Aren't used to the shackles. Not seasoned by the world as I am. Nor familiar with the corners of Syndicate. You can't shield me from anything. Yet, you've opened my eyes to wonders I never knew existed. Stay put, Lavina. You're not the one who can protect me. I should be the one protecting you. what they were up against that day. You vile creature! It wasn't enough to take our boss, my brother, and now you have the audacity to appear before me, slaughtering even more? Go back to where you came from! I won't let you get away with this! Carvania won't last much longer, and here I am, rescuing people like you. <laughs> oh, I've spent my whole life playing it safe to stay alive. But now that death is near, it's hardly freeing. I want to do something heroic. My last act, something to remember. Handcuff, get out! Sappy poems again. What's written up there? It's too dark. I can't see it. It's been quite a while, and I've had more than my fair share of obstacles. Still, 
it's great to see you again. Bye. It reminds me of the day we met. I stumbled upon you and brought you home. Are you with me again? The ones you turned your back on have mostly paid the ultimate price. Here's your second chance. Or is it that you really hate me so much? Hate? <laughs> no way. My life is too valuable to squander on feelings like that. If you hadn't shown up to wreck my place, I'd have been content to live and let live. <laughs> this is what you call home? How can it not be? I got hot pot, good booze, a pushover I can borrow from without paying back. And these gullible employees I can mess with. On the overground, everyone looks out for themselves. Guarding their tiny slice of the world. Maybe a few close pals. <laughs> That's just more my style. I'm just a small fry. Not cut out for your lofty ambitions. This spot's good enough for me. I'm fine meeting my end right here. But if I'm going down, I'll take you with me. Never heard you speak like this before. Looks like you finally found something to live for. Which I find comforting. At heart, you're still one of our own from the underground. I'll have your old mates see you through this part of the trip. How did I end up here? Hmm. Looks like things have only gone downhill in the months I've been gone. But with you around, we'll find a solution, no doubt. Alright. Take a deep breath. Focus on what's important to you. Nice to meet you, Chief. Or is it more apt to say, long time no see? <laughs> 